Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a purge command that can purge up to 500 messages. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Here we are in Visual Studio Code. I'll be making it using a slash command. If you want to use it as a normal command, you can also use that by just moving the code that you're gonna handle with the slash command to your command handler. I'll just make a, a simple edits. All right. So uh, first, let's go to data handler and let's create a new slash command. All right. The name is going to be uh, Purge. All right. Description is going to be uh, Purge up to five hundred. Or actually, let's let's make it three hundred. It's a way to do it. All right. Like I can do it three hundred or five hundred. I will tell you the way, and you can make it up to like one k if you want. But take care. You have a rate limit. All right. So push up to 300 messages, all right, and then options, so uh, let's do it like this, all right, so I want the name to be amount, I just want to make one option, all right, so I want it to be amount, no caps, and the type is going to be number like that all right let me show you here all right it sets the option to a required decimal also known as a floating point value all right perfect now i can put a description here the amount that is going to be deleted deleted all right required I want it to actually be required so true all right now we created the slash command I guess let me just put here that was the context uh, menu context menu example all right here let me put purge command all right let me start the bot to make sure we got the slash command v3 13 purge here as you can see shows up here if i did anything right now here amount see nothing's going to happen since we didn't handle the data yet all right so now let's go to slash command here Alright, and let's create a new. F Oops. Hold on. A new folder inside of it, actually, let's name it moderation. Alright, and let's create a new file inside of it and let's call it purge.js. Alright, so I'm gonna do module.exports.tron equal a sync enter that is basically interaction but as i said before interaction is so long so i'm gonna just type enter all right and then module.exports.help is going to have the the name that is basically gonna be purge all right perfect so uh First, I want to uh, I want to just push it. So I want to check the number. All right. So let amount equal enter dot options. All right. Let me show you how to get the option. Uh, what's in replying? I guess. 
should be somewhere. All right, here we go. Also, when you are a content creator, you might get some sponsors such as HostingBot. HostingBot is a VPS service that will allow you to host anything that you would like. If you went here, we'll be able to see different VPS hosting plans. We're starting from here on the website hosting to the dedicated services. So let's try, let's try maybe the VPN hosting. You can see here it starts from $8.99. Also, let's check the website hosting. Here you can see it starts from $3.50. Alright, there is much different ones. You can check them out as much as you want. So let's thank HostingBot for sponsoring our today's video. Use code ULTRALIST to get 20% off of any VPS you're gonna buy. So now, let's continue the video. Alright, so... Uh you're gonna see the number, I'm gonna interaction.options.getNumber Alright, and the options of get number. And it was amount, as you remember, let me show you The handler, alright As you can see here, the name is amount So, amount So, uh, now, let's actually await it Okay, so if the amount is uh, equal or uh, let's say smaller or equal to 100, alright, so uh, if it is 100 or smaller, I want to uh, actually just delete the amount directly all right using blog delete here all right so i'm gonna do message dot uh okay there is no message actually so enter interaction dot channel dot uh bulk delete this all right and then i'm gonna put the amount here and i'm gonna say true and here is what what the true is for if you don't know all right good and then i want to return await interaction dot reply uh i want to say successfully purged 100, uh, let's say amount messages, all right, okay, now let's try, all right, so let me go to here probably, if I did slash purge, and I said like, Ten. Here we go. It deleted ten messages, as you can see. All right. But also, you maybe want to do uh, actually it's slash command, so it doesn't count. All right, never mind. Uh, okay, so ten messages has been deleted, and let's say I want to delete this message after like ten seconds as well. You can just do dot dot then uh, like message. And just set timeout. Alright. You know, put it here. Put it here. 10 seconds in milliseconds. Alright. And then just message.delete. Alright. Just delete. But I won't really delete it. I'm gonna keep it. All right, perfect. Now let's try to purge 100 to make sure it works perfectly. All right, good. Uh, so the, the thing is, it's old messages. So I don't think I'm gonna actually delete it. Let me check if I did 100 again. Oh, it's deleting it. All right, perfect. I guess uh, so. Uh, 
Now I want to say if it's more than uh, 100, like let's say if it is 200 or less. Alright, so else if amount is more, smaller or equal to 200. Alright, I want to basically do, do it twice. Alright, so enter interaction dot channel dot uh, bulk delete and I'm gonna delete 100 true all right and then I want to get the difference between uh, like how, how much left so basically I'm gonna just put that that left equal uh, the amount minus 100 and then I'm gonna set a timeout because I don't want to get create limited all right set timeout uh, basically I'm gonna put here after like three seconds I guess that's a good time I'm gonna basically just bulk delete dot uh, dot build delete again the how many messages left all right so left true that's easy at that all right now let's test it up let me also make it like that so it'd be kind of clear to understand all right let's check how many messages are here actually all right we got uh, 1925 all right so I'm gonna now purge uh, 150 message all right or actually how much was that no okay I'm gonna purge 125 all right here we go oops I didn't Oh, I didn't actually reply to the message. Uh, return await interaction dot reply. Uh, successfully. Double S. Purged amount messages. All right. So I'm gonna do here slash purge 125. How many are there already? Bot shot. Alright, so there's okay, let's purge 129. Alright. Let's check. And for some reason, still says interaction field. Uh, well, I can I can do like this maybe. I make this two. Uh, it should be asynchronous since we have got a weight in it. How many are there right now? 400. Um, okay. So slash purge. Uh, 151. Successfully purge. Okay, hold on. Did it actually purge anything? It didn't actually, probably they are too old, as you can see, same date. So we need some new messages, so I guess I'm gonna spam and I'm gonna be right back. Alright, so I guess now I have done a lot. Alright, so uh, let me now try to purge 150 messages as example. And let's actually see. Yep, as you can see, it actually deleted a lot of messages until the day 
I said like two weeks as you can see it's it printed all the messages so uh, it's basically the same way to get the 300 all right so you're gonna just copy this part since it's the same way I'm gonna put this at 300 and I'm gonna change this to 2 minus here 2 again but actually I can't purge like that so I'm gonna purge one time I set two timeouts I guess I'm gonna do like that so 100 and then set timeout all right oops I'm gonna put here two seconds all right and I'm gonna delete that and I want to uh, time uh, the left messages left is gonna be two, uh, the amount minus 200 and uh, I'm gonna just delete the left and that's it basically all right guys so one thing I forgot to mention that the interaction token is only valid for three seconds and in the video you saw me putting two seconds and then two sec seconds again so if you try the command it's gonna give you uh, an, uh, like an error saying traction field since it's more than uh, three seconds all right so for that reason uh, you maybe want to put it like one second up and one second down so that's two seconds or you can make it a normal command and not slash command so now let's continue the video Now it's, you can uh, do it up to 300 messages. So easy, isn't it? Alright, let's take a look here. Uh, I won't really spam again. Okay, that was boring. So I'm gonna probably just search here for any command, any, any place here. Probably there is none. Okay, that's sad. There, there is I, I can't test the 300 since all the messages are so old to be deleted using the bot. So I guess that's it. You can test it if you have any issues. You can join the Discord server link in the description. Uh, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what one of the next videos will be. That's it and ciao.